car, nice. Got bus. The Exodus. And oppression. The Exodus and your oppression. Things we don't even realize we have in our lives that are hindering things that we need in our lives, not even concerning people with the belief of Christ, but belief in anything of where you want to see yourself in the next few years and so on. Where are you without the vision, child? Where are you without your own vision? Where are you without a vision for your life? You go out into this world. You see people so blind that I even know where they're gonna be at tomorrow. They're here, they're there, they're here and pro. They're aimless in this world. Even the people that are trying to find the Lord, it's aimless. And so something occurred to me listening to the Exodus. Moses and Mount Sinai coming down with the commandments of people that decided to worship the bull. The bull was made because people thought it was from the Lord because they couldn't find and they quit seeking after God so they decided to make their own idol. And even believers, the people that are non-believers, believers, unbelievers, aimless, just so... You come to people and show them, tell them how to take the first step, but still they seem so aimless. It's different when, this is why I believe God wants you, when He, it's about Him speaking to you. Because if you go out and do it within your own power, your own words, it's like you still leave people aimless because it's within your own words until you hear His voice to lead you through. It doesn't make a bit of a difference, does it? When we walk this life, it's like within we're doing things within our own work so that they're listening to God's voice. So we might as well just be aimless, shall we? Be just aimless. Because without it listening to the voice, we're committing works. And that's actually a sin because works will never lead you anywhere. It's never gonna lead you to God anywhere and really it's not pleasing to the Lord because it's just not in his head when you try to do works listen his voice or you're no different than the people that were worshipping the golden statue and it's even with your oppression getting in the way things in your life that are working behind the scenes hindering well everything that is going on in your life that you're wondering why it's going so wrong relationships everything else the oppression pretend like you are the people down on the mountain of Mount Sinai worshipping drinking below in front of the bull and you see Moses coming down with the commandments and, he, and he's yelling Wondering why are you so aimless? Why? That's it. God bless. Amen. Fire and ice. Godspeed.